Hello, I'm Aileen. I live and work on Dunfermline High Street and I have only lived here for five years, but I love to learn lots about the history of Dunfermline. Hi, my name's Tom Campbell. I'm an actor and presenter. I've lived in Dunfermline my entire life and do some of the old Dunfermline DVDs you may have seen. Hi, my name's Lisa and I've lived in Dunfermline all my life and I couldn't wait to be part of this project. Mm. So I've been at the cinema and you're waiting for it to start. Zoom in on Dunfermline. And it zooms in. Yeah. You can't beat that. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Oh, very posh. Welcome to the show. The bagpipes come out for everything, don't they? <laughs> I know, definitely. <laughs> well, that's Scotland for you. Okay, so we've got a steam train coming out of Edinburgh somewhere. And I'm going to assume we're heading north to Dunfermline. As they should be. Oh, this reminds me of like the very first day I drove into Dunfermline and that's what it looked like to me. Romantic. Really? <laughs> yeah, just idealised, you know. And you still let traffic through the um, public park? Public park. I can't even what imagine what that must have been like. Oh my God, that granny almost got knocked down there. A bit like that. <laughs> It's kind of what it was like from what I recall. Was that long ago? 80s, 70s? Um, that would be 70s, looking at those cars. Um, I think it finished in the... Yeah, it was finished by the early 80s. All the fans. That same, the Dunfermline district, they're still in play today, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fairly sure they are. That's the shows down at Rex Park, maybe. Oh yeah. Something like that. I love a good accordion band, and the drums. It's all so passionate. And this is us at the Glen now. Yeah. Yep. I have this image of everyone in Dunfermline that ha they have such a romanticised idea of the Glen in the summer, and it always feels like it's sunny like this. It's not, but it. it, it <laughs> we we all love it so much. I know, but it's, it's just the nicest place to go. Like, look at that. Gardens, oh my God. Yeah. In That's full the, bloom. Yeah, the formal gardens outside the hothouses there. So it's all volunteers that look after that now, isn't it? Mm. But even down get, there at the ruins, it looks amazing. Yeah. You mm. don't get that view of the ruins anymore because the trees have all grown up. That's very true, because I wouldn't have seen it like that. Where's this, Tom? Is this the, um, top, of the Euro. top of the Euro. Yeah. Um, so, and then that's Guildhall Street, isn't it? Oh, I recognise that. Hall. Yeah. To the old bus station, the old lower station, down there behind the Abbey. So that's Where I conveniently the, park my car, the car now. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and a view along to the city chambers. Oh, that's Bruce Street, isn't it? And the fire station that's now the... Um, Creative Hub now, isn't the it? The Art Centre, yeah. Art Centre, yeah. But that was old bus station, and you used to be able to go to Stan's Chippy to get the best bag of chips ever. <laughs> and that's in the middle of the Glen, isn't it, too? The, well, they were. The, the, the paddle and pools oh, away with them. So this is hilarious. Look at those kids on all of, like, it, I would never that's, let my child up there. <laughs> look at that. That was just terrifying. And you think, oh, the little girl's coming to help her. No, she's not. No, she's now look at the gigantic swimwear on them as well. Look at her armpits. <laughs> you also have those trunks with a pocket in them. <laughs> but 1967, this. Good. Just look at the thoroughfare, though. Look at how many people are in it. Absolutely crammed. I know. Yeah. It's entirely possible I am a baby in a pram at this. A very, very young baby in a pram. That'd it would be, be so fun. cool if we actually had that. Like, that would have been really cool, Tom. I played in a marching band when I was a kid and we would have done all of these kind of um, marching festivals in Ireland. And then obviously St. Patrick's Day being a big one for us. But you're so proud when you're in your uniform like that there. Um, you're, you're so proud to be part of this um, parade. And so they would have all been, yeah, so kind of... Um, shoulders back and ready to 
do their best. It's so nice. But it's such see. a community event, though. I mean, mm. every school gets involved. Every primary school, all the kids just look amazing every year. Well, now a lot of people come into the shop to buy, to make things for costumes and things for the gala, and it's mm. and they, you know, they put so much importance on it. Oh yeah, it's it's a it's an it, we're so lucky to still have this as an annual event. Lots of other areas and towns and cities don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. It used to be used to get high schools used to be involved as well. I don't know if they're still oh, there. Right. Sixty-seven, but not just the youngsters. And look, everyone's yeah. like, look at them, shirt and ties and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. old dead bosh. So this is after the parade down into the glen, and you go for the, the games. But the, the most important part of it for most of the kids was you got your lunchbox. I think it possibly <laughs> still is the most important part. So usually it's Stevens the Bakers or somebody like that, or the co-op maybe, and you yeah. get your lunchbox. And for the period that I was going, you'd get your one third of a pint of warm milk. Oh, it wasn't actually supposed to be warm, but it's been sitting out in the sun. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. You say out in the sun, but look at all, everyone's like decked out to the nines and they've all got their kind of Sunday best on. Look at hats and everything. I know. But it must be the height of summer because the kids are all wearing dresses and shorts. Yeah. But it's, people still wore, I mean, you've got gentlemen in hats and ladies in overcoats and their Sunday hats and all this kind of stuff. Um, so it's all you've got to get dressed up to go. Mm. It's like in a period when people used to get dressed up to travel. Um, kids admiring the musical instruments and everything. Yeah, well, the things that make noises. Mm, well. any, any, any big drum, <gasps> can I have a go on that? Yeah. Yeah, and I've been to protests and things in the, in the park, um, in the Glen, um, in that kind of area there. And it's kind of, I suppose, that um, in front of the pavilions has seen a lot. Over yeah. The years. yeah, there's there's pipe bands there from because there's pipe band competitions there. There's pipe bands That's there. Right. Yeah, the it'll have seen all sorts. If it could tell a story, that patch yeah. of grass. I know, and then obviously the bandstand was used at the back as well all the yeah. time. So mm. you know, literally because of because of the the pipe band kind of tradition with you know America and Canada, there's also visiting bands from there. Uh, yeah. State universities would send their bands and so on. Just absolutely amazing. Huge numbers, and they, when you see pictures of the crowds that are there, that was yeah. also one of the fun That's things crazy. was picking up the bundle of streamers at the end of the day. Yeah. Because uh, you didn't necessarily get your own streamer, so you nicked as many as you could get your hands on. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Or oh, the Rockery Garden. There's volunteers who help it to keep that the way it is now. There we are. Right, so we're now off along, uh, this is outside Carnegie Hall. Uh, so this is on Eastport, just heading towards the roundabout. And this is a, a civic week parade. Would the roundabout have been there at that point, though? Mm, yes, it but it was much smaller. Right. Much smaller. It was, it, was, it was always called Simple Gardens Roundabout when it came in. It came in um, very late 60s, early... Actually, no, maybe 71 it might have come in. Uh, so they've got really? floats in this parade, though. Look, rather than just... Um, Bands and gatherings of yeah, civic week all the time. This is the civic pride, though. This is the civic one, isn't it? Yeah, rather than the just dockyard, Ross site apprentices trading centre. I I love the idea of this that they have to then represent by creating their own mm -hmm. floats. They'll have had to put all this together, get the jigsaw out to make all the little yeah. waves and stuff well, along the edge the of model. their float. The, Absolutely. The model that's on there actually looks like a copy of the Royal York Britannia. Um, so it, it could be something like that. I love this one. Shuffy Shuffy the train. He looks like he's struggling. <laughs> well, it's probably somebody's Land Rover. The street or... is quite wide there. If that's um, that upper part of Eastport. Yeah, but they've they've um, well, they've ended at the bottom of the town. Changed so much um, over the years. Um, because there used to be buildings right along the other side, but they've all gone by this point because they were already planning to walk. Yeah, they look like they've the flattened the far side of the road there. Yeah, so you've already got the, the billboards and things up that they tend to put in for short Look at that one. Bring your coppers to the copper. Yeah. Oh, right. Good though, as hell, you know, collecting for the Oh, years. look at these ladies on the back of that float. You wouldn't see that nowadays, would you? Nope. <laughs> the, 
look mortified. <laughs> and I'm assuming there's something to do with the Commonwealth because we're all dressed up in manners that we wouldn't be able to dress up in now. No, no, yeah, not, not at all. Um, I've got to say, I love the guy in the skis. It's the, the hardest working man in showbiz. Tell you what, his knees will be done in after that day. I know. It's the fact that it's the jump round. There you go, Commonwealth that. Queens. That's maybe what they... Yeah, 1970. So, yeah, this this possibly is just before the roundabout everything went in. Um, now, going by the shoulder pads, we're well, late 80s or early 90s. <laughs> Um, well, now, this, this is interesting to me because rejects there, I've never seen photographs with rejects in, but um, people that come in and out of my haberdashery shop, they often talk about it and how wonderful it was, but I've obviously never been in there or seen it. Mm -hmm. No, it was, it, it was where it Seven was Kings is now. Yeah. Yeah. It's huge. It was, yeah, it was a rabbit warren. It was like yeah, yeah. It was a day out. <laughs> Yeah, you could because they had uh, they had a cafe in there at one point, didn't they? Um, and various, but you could wander about for ages and never see the same thing twice. Um, Sounds a bit like the co-op. People have talked like that about the co-op yeah. as well. Oh yeah, yeah. And I've never clapped eyes on those buildings. Well, I know where Seven Kings is now, but the co-op is completely gone. Yeah, um, but the co-op co was because um, it was so many buildings stitched together. So mm. Every time you went from one department to another. You change level, so you're up two steps, down three, round the corner, down a ramp, up. Oh, it was it was unbelievable. It was great fun. You could wonder again. You could wonder about in there forever. Um, I think this is one of the jazz festivals or street festivals. It's all like around the Louise Louisians. Carnegie Gates at the bottom of the. Yeah. But likewise, you can still see all the businesses getting involved and in putting stuff up. You know the flyers. Yeah, they've all decorated the, the front. Stuff, of yeah. Oh, there's a banner down there. I can't see what it says. Those open days. Know, there's open an day. open day. Oh, there's an no, open day. No, no, well day. done. Well read. I couldn't read that. I, I squinted I really hard. I didn't realise they did that, actually, back yeah. then at the city chambers. You still get I wonder if he, it is this person protesting at something. The, you still get in. The police station would let you in. You can get in the sheriff courts and all kinds of places. It's great. Yeah. Um, and I know that you can get a tour around the chambers if, um, the, if, the, if they've got people in that are able to kind of take you around. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you remember Street Fest? What was Street Fest? Street Fest. I, I may have been involved in this doing something, but I'm not entirely sure what I was doing. Brilliant costumes. Um, yeah. Why have we got name still... badges, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why have the ladies in costume got name badges on? Um, now, the, the chap in the big kilt there yeah. was called Big Rory. And he appeared at, he was at the Glasgow Garden Festival and um, he did the Stirling Festivals and loads of other different things like that for years. He was around for absolutely years. He'll be a known street performer around here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, well, right across the central belt, he was absolutely everywhere. He must be showing off old skills or something. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, because they, they, they did um, all the, you know, the spoon turners and yeah, all this Yeah, it quite evil, so. Yeah. yeah. Jugglers and so on, all that kind of stuff. No Old job centre, that. of course, before it becomes a pub. And after it had been a pub, because it was um, Shannon. That was it. Great Irish name. Quite a good pub, that. Quite good fun. Because the, um, there was a wine bar downstairs. Yeah, um, like where the sales were. And uh, no, the wine bar was just before where the sales were. Because then where the sales were was the you King's Court end. shopping centre. Right. Yeah, That's and I've right. heard people talk about that, that it was like a little courtyard or something yeah. with little independent yeah. shops, but it mustn't have been around for long, was it? It had a few years. It ran for a few years, but it was um, it was just the difficulty of getting people even that far off the high street at that point. Nowadays, people wouldn't think anything of it, and it would go down quite well. Um, but in the sort of mid-90s, it was a bit of a struggle. I had a shop in there for about six months and then spent the next three years trying to pay it off. Oh, no. Um, yeah, these things happen. Um, that's a cut gate, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't make it, cut gate. Yep, oh, that's just down there. I also felt sorry for the people in these costumes because they're, they're 900 degrees inside. <gasps> Look at Abbey Flowers, I remember the flower shop. And more still to walkers. Look at that. Yep. There's your pal. Big Rory's back. <laughs> yeah, that's not scary at all. Well, there we go. No. That's us, I think. 
all done and dusted. Well, good night, good night, Tom, and good night, Ailey. Good night, Lisa. Bye, Tom. Good night, girls.